good to see you. Um, tell us about your aims and objectives for, for the upcoming season. So yeah, we're, we're in BSB 2021 and I'm, uh, I'm back with the Tag Honda team, which I've been with for three years on, with a different brand. But clearly the, the aim for 2021 has to be to get into the showdown, which is the, the top eight you know, finalists. I've been in that showdown already three times in the past, so it's a clear, you know, I know I can do it, the team know that the bike, or the, the team can do it. So, uh, yeah, that's our objective. OK, that's, that's great. Who do, who do you think the main rivals are within the paddock to, to get into that showdown? Well, that's always, you know, diff difficult question. There's a lot of fast riders in British Superbikes. You know, Josh Brooks, Eden from the Ducati team, Jason and Taz from the Yamaha team. You know, the list goes on a long, long way. There's, there's, there's a good 15 or 16 riders that, in my opinion, are capable of getting in that showdown. But obviously, we've got 11 rounds. We've got three races at every round, so there's a lot of chance for things to go right or wrong. Um, so anything can happen. What about an outright winner? If you're a betting man, would you bet on Brooks to retain his crown, or do you think someone else has got the edge? For sure, Josh is going to be one of them that's, um, that will be fighting for it. Well, I have a sneaky feeling that Jason might, might this might be Jason's year. I, know, I mean, I'd like to think that I'm very close to that as well, um, of course, but um, let's see how the season pans out, you know. It's, we know what we're capable of and want to push for them podium spots. Last year, you were in Super Stocks. Tell us about that experience and how it differs to riding a Superbike this year. Well, it was, um, it was a last-minute change, you know. We had some technical issues with, uh, with the Superbike at the time, so we had a, a swap to the Baytham's BMW team. I really enjoyed it. We had, we had a few issues there for the first few rounds, but we got them sorted at the end. And the last round at Brands Hatch, I led all race and just, uh, just got pipped at the end by Danny Kent, so I finished second in the final race. But it was a bit of fun. Uh, it was good to keep riding at, at, at my limit. And, um, yeah, the, the differences, obviously, in the bikes are, are quite a lot. Superbike is, uh, you know, fully, fully tuned up parts, you know, as such. Um, everything's different, engine spec, electronics, tires. Brakes are aftermarket. Every, everything is a lot higher level. But in saying that, the super stock bike standard is at a very high level for the road as well. So um, yeah, it was fun. But I'm, I'm happy to be back in super bike. Obviously, completely different experience last season for a number of reasons. The main one being no fans trackside. Yeah. How was that for you? Yeah, it was strange to start with. Um, the, the biggest thing for the riders is that you don't get to see them them on the warm up lap and the cool down lap. Actually, in the race, when you're focused on your thing, you don't really notice because you're concentrating. But today's actually been the first time that I've seen fans trackside for over a year, and it was good to see. So um, yeah, that, we need that atmosphere. So you mentioned back on the back on the BB uh, on the BSB bike this year with, with the Honda new Fireblade looks interesting from what we've seen of it in testing so far. What's, been, what's it been like to ride so far? Yeah, love the, the guys have built a lovely bike, you know. Uh, kudos to them on the, the parts they've used and the time they've taken to build a, a good bike. It feels fast, you know, the engine's really, really strong. Um, just got to get comfortable with it. I'm, I'm not comfortable at the moment with a few of the sort of ancillary parts on the bike and positioning. Um, but it's really early days, you know. We had six sessions at Silverstone and now we're here. Well, last, the, the test last week got rain off with rain. So this is literally my seventh session on the bike. It's, it's really early days. Um, but I'm sure we'll, we'll get there. So, looking at the bike uh, from a cosmetic point of view, your uh, number is number four. So, is there a significance behind the race number? Uh, pro probably not as good a story as you'd like to hear. It was as simple as in 2005 when I raced in the British 125 series. I finished fourth overall in the championship. So, for the following season, I was allowed to use number four. So, I just liked using that number and tried to keep using that number as much as I could. So what's your favourite circuit on the calendar? Obviously we're here at Holman right now, but is there a particular circuit, a particular corner on the circuit that you, you like? I really like, my particular, my favourite corner is for sure Woodcote at Silverstone. I love the last corner there, how it, it's a fast, you know, fifth gear corner leads onto the start finish straight. So that's one, definitely my favourite corner, but in terms of a circuit, I do like them all. Um, I've had some great memories here at Holman Park, winning races. Uh, but I think Thruxton is my favourite circuit. Any particular reason for that? Yeah, it's, it's really high speed. We don't get to go there very often, so we don't get to test there. We literally race there once a year. It's yeah, it's all four fifth gear, really fast, and uh, obviously that thrill is a little bit higher because of the speed element. Away from BSB, you've also been involved slightly with endurance stuff here and there. Um, any plans to, to go back? Yeah, I'm actually um, planning to do the Le Mans 24-hour this season. 
which is actually in about three weeks' time, I think. So uh, middle of June we should be doing that. Um, yeah, I would like to do something. Obviously, uh, this is my priority, so I don't want it to clash with anything here. Um, but yeah, over winter, maybe there could be the chance to do one or two more. So how did you first uh, get involved in, in motorcycle racing? So through my, my dad. My dad raced a season in the 70s. And then as soon as I was born, you know, early, early 90s mainly, he would go to all the bike races, so I would go with him. I'd go to all the bike shows, I'd go on the back of his motorbike on the road. So I was introduced to bikes from quite an early age. And as young as I can remember, I always wanted to be a bike racer. Um, and then Santa Claus brought me a mini bike for Christmas once and uh, started racing then, and uh, that was uh, I was away then. Through the classes, you know, year by year, try and step up to the 125, 250, 600, superbike, and... Would that be something you'll be passing down to, to your little ones when they're all... <laughs> If if they have the desire to, then maybe I would I would like to help them ride for fun. I don't think in terms of racing um, that that would ever be realistic. But I would certainly like them to benefit from the thrill and the joy of riding bikes.